What's going on everyone? Sneaky Mofo here and today I'm going to show you how to make a Borderlands looking logo or font for your videos or whatever purpose you see fit to use this, alright? So we're just going to jump right in. Go ahead and create a new file and once you create that, alright, you go to your text here, your text tool and click in here and let's write Borderlands, alright, and then we can size that font down to where it will fit <clears throat> within our little space to work here. I'll select both of these and go ahead and center. Alright, so now that we've got that, which by the way this font is called Compacta BDBT. It's not a free font but it's only like 25 bucks or something like that. So for me I've been using this font for a number of my uh, thumbnails for my videos so um, it's definitely paid for itself uh, for me and it's just been fun to do anyway with that said um, I've included down below in the description okay a file for you <clears throat> and what we'll do is we'll place that file this font overlay here we'll place it here and then you can go ahead and resize it up and move it around and this is going to be for our text we're going to make our text sort of look like this um, now the one that I personally use it doesn't have as many of the defects here I just did this really quick and what I did was I took the Borderlands uh, you know logo here and I took samples of various parts alright copied a section like this and then you know got rid of the dark parts whatever so anyway this is what I ended up with quick and dirty you can definitely make it look a lot better but for our purposes here this will be fine right click here let's rasterize the layer and now what we want to do is we'll put this below all right our borderlands here all right now what you want to do is get your clone stamp all right and you want to make sure you have this layer selected and you hold alt and basically what you want to do is look for a spot that you think you want to start filling in this borderlands with okay so I'll just start about here and you click while you have alt selected and or pressed rather and whenever you do that it basically makes it to where you can copy all of this over the text alright so to give you a quick example of that now we want to select our borderlands font layer all right we'll rasterize the type and then you select the pixels all right and now whenever we go to fill this in right it'll only fill inside in the letters instead of just filling in everything all right so I like to hide that layer and you just click and you just start doing this and you paint it in all right and you can get some really cool stuff going like if you just wanted to make it look splashed on or you know layered and split or whatever you know you can get really creative with it but anyway I have a really heavy uh, right here if you look up where your clone stamp is I have this really heavy brush or whatever selected with hardness set to a hundred percent so that it just immediately fills in the colors like that alright so Anyway, now that we have that, we can deselect, control D, and now we want to get this uh, sort of bold, you know, outlining, okay? So what you'll do is we'll double click in this space here. First thing we want to do is add a stroke here, okay? And I set the position to outside, and depending on what size you make your new file, okay? will depend on how thick the stroke looks here whenever you start modifying its size okay so I'll set mine to about we'll try 10 at first alright that looks pretty good so we'll keep that at 10 next thing you want to do is add a drop shadow alright I set this to normal the opacity to 100 spread to 100 all right. And now you start fiddling with distance and size. All right. So we can change that size there, make it really bold. And then with the distance, you can say how far away 
that drops. Okay, So if we look at the actual Borderlands logo here, we see that it actually drops in this direction, you know, moving down and to the left. All right. So what we can do is modify our angle here to like 50 or so. All right. And then you see how now it's shifted to that way. Let's move it up this way just a bit. All right. There we go. And you can just keep playing with the size and the distance and just get it to where, where you like it, just to get close enough. You know what I mean? And so we click OK, and I mean, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> you know, it's not perfect. You don't have the 3D feel to it, which honestly, that's something I'm working on learning right now because I want to really recreate this whole effect. And so as you can see, I'm kind of messing with the 3D to get the extrusion and uh, all that the, the real look of it and I'm messing with lighting and like the exclamation point that you have here right you see how this uh, is like transformed out at an angle right so basically I did a capital I which was straight and then I tr did the transform to bring this out and then you can see that this period here actually extends out well beyond what looks like would happen if you just did an exclamation mark right so I think they did this first, and then you can also see the stroke going along the bottom of this, right? So for that to happen, it means that they needed to edit whatever they edited with this before they added in this, I think. And then you've got different lighting variables to see, like which direction the light shines in on. I think it's coming from about up here in 3D space, because you get the light on this side of the characters, but then it's dark on this side. And then I think they did this borderlands separate from this whole section here because of the angle of the 3D. You know, you can see the top of the characters here, but not here. And anyway, so in my next tutorial, I want to basically be able to show you how to recreate this completely. You know what I mean? But in the meantime, um, this will absolutely suffice for if you want to have some quick sort of text for a video or something of that nature. So anyway, uh, I hope this helps. I hope that you enjoyed this and learned a little something. Give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments if you want to see another tutorial on, you know, whenever I get the 3D part figured out or not. And uh, yeah, so anyway, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.